on system start after any entry into the emergency program and no telescope status symbol is shown in the telescope submenu and also in the tools submenu. Entry into the emergency telescope program is not shown as it is essential that you first read and fully understand the conditions of use as described in section 14 of the operator's manual. The tools submenu via button F4 is used to verify and reset the telescope status. Please refer to section 14 of the operator's manual for details of the error messages and also see the video clip on error messages. The no telescope status symbol is also shown in the tools submenu as a result of any detected telescope status error messages. To reset the telescope status you must first verify the exact position of the telescope sections. You can use the RCI display and also look at the telescope configuration. These reference checks confirm that the telescope sections are all fully retracted and that the status of telescope section 1 is incorrectly set to 47% in our example. We must now enter the correct length status for telescope section 1 to 0% by pressing button F9 to activate the entry field. An active entry field is confirmed by turning from red to yellow. By repeatedly pressing the button we can toggle all the fixed lengths and the symbol for an intermediate length which would be selected if the section was unlocked. The same entry procedure would be used with buttons F10 to F13 to enter the required telescope status. Now press and hold the left dead man joystick switch and press the entry button once. The input prompt will now appear. Now press buttons A, B, A, C to enter the key code. The entry field values will then turn from yellow to green. This confirms the accepted telescope status. The question mark will then be removed from the telescope symbol. On a system restart, the detected error warning will then be removed.